Hey, Sean Parker, head writer of Necrologist News Network. I also play the uh, necrologist Mortimer Moabond. And I'm here with the very talented McKenna Marshall, who plays... I play Catherine Cadence in this month's episode of... Necrologist News Network, entitled The Notorious Mr. Id. That's about a schizophrenic man who has to confront his darkest side. That's trying to convince him to do some licentious and rather violent things. So, uh, tell us about your character. So, what I like a lot about Catherine and the way that you wrote her, I think is so beautiful because she is a strong woman who knows what she wants in life. And you really don't see that in writing nowadays, especially with, like, Hollywood or even stage adaptations. Women are always compared to, like, meek and mild characters. They're never... I don't know. I guess the best way to put it is that Catherine will not take anybody's shit. And she knows what she's want she wants in life, and that's what she's going to do. I'm glad that you noticed that. Yeah, I try not to write girls in scripts. Like, horror, traditionally, whenever they're in it, it's like, a lot of them are like the damsel in distress types. Or they're the lead woman that is always having to fight the monster or something like that. And in this particular story, you're not necessarily the, the lead woman, but you are the person that has to take care of the situation whenever things start getting serious, especially towards the end. And I just didn't want you to be like, oh no, I'm just here to be victimized, and then some outside force actually happens to come in and saves you. You're pretty self-sufficient in that regards. And you played that very well, I thought. Like, you've got that spunkiness about you naturally as a person, so it translates very well over to your character. Thank you. And honestly, it was so fun and sort of challenging to play her, especially for the Sage adaptation. Right. Because I was, at the time, playing Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer stage parodies. And, it, you know, transitioning from being, being that character for so long, like Willow, who's soft and kind and there to help everybody. And this was, like, after the sense of her going dark. It, it was just so refreshing to play somebody who knew what they wanted in life and where they were going and somebody that was so strong-willed. A very decisive character. Yeah, exactly. Saying. And that's something that Willow had struggled with. And so, yeah, it was oh, a really good Oh, yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. There would be a huge juxtaposition between the two personalities, mm -hmm. especially but that's part of the fun of being an actress or an actor. You get to do everything. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Was it hard for you to transition? Because you did this on stage a couple of years ago yeah. with me. Um, was it hard to transition into doing it in audiobook format, which is a completely different beast altogether? You know, that's an interesting question. Um, with it being so long ago, I, I mean, it's always going to be different. You can do movies from stage and you can compare it all. It's all going to have a different feel and a different sense. Right. And, you know, when you do theater, you're so on, on, on 24-7. Uh, but with this, you can really, like, set back, look at the lines, and then develop it from there into where you don't have to be so big 24-7. You can be, I feel, a little bit more... Truthful. True, yeah, true yeah, to yeah. the character. That's what I thought, Something too. like this, yeah. It's like in the voice. You can tell in the inflections. Whereas on stage, sometimes we have to, ah, uh, be bigger than mm -hmm. life. Whereas whenever it's an audio format, it's okay to draw back a little bit. Yeah. The truth and enunciation is way more important than just being loud because the microphone's right there. Exactly. Whereas with an audience that's like outstretched, you really have to project and you're saying things louder or in a different way than you would mm -hmm. than if you weren't trying to talk to an audience that's off in the distance. Right, exactly. And I would agree 110% with that. So it's good. There's more truth that you can add to it doing it in audio format. Plus, yeah. you've got multiple options to re-record lines versus <laughs> yeah. if you flub in front of an like, audience, mm. you're like, oh well, man, I'm just going to have to go for it. Mess up your lines. You're like, up. oh, I'm not going to go back and repeat that because that's not what you do in real life. You draw attention to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much, McKenna. It's always delights to have you on the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's always awesome working with you guys, and I can't wait to be back.